It's been four months since all of this started, and I hoped eventually after repetition and stability that feeling of wandering blindly through life would vanish. But to no avail, I'm just as lost as ever. But I've also started realizing, no matter your current disposition or future endeavors, that feeling never goes away. Nobody knows what they're doing. It's scary, but it's a part of life. And I'm just as lost as before, and as lost as I'll ever be. Hey. You're in the office. Don't FaceTime me at the office. You're right here. You can easily just talk to me. It's so annoying. It's hard, it's hard dude. I'm bored. Yeah. Yeah. Walk over here and talk to me. You're editing, dude. You didn't want to interrupt. Then why'd you FaceTime me? Someone wants to see this today. today. Jesus Christ. What? Do you not want me to film everything? I thought so. Well, this I mean, whole, it's just people. I thought that's what whole, this whole company was about. This whole company is about filming. It's just, uh, you know, why it, are you it does, mad at me about filming? I'm not getting mad at you. Steve? I'm not mad at you. Steve's mad at me because of filming. He hung up on me too. I'm just starting to see what people are actually saying about us and it's starting to make sense. Like, people don't think that, people don't think that we're real people. People don't think that like we exist outside of these, these bits. What if this isn't real? Think about it. Think about it. James, you're actually just playing with your nuts while saying it, so it's really difficult to take you seriously. Oh, fuck, you touched the camera so much. You know who has a problem with people thinking they don't exist outside of bits? Cow Chop. And speaking of Cow Chop, they were at our office today, filming a podcast. Who the fuck are you people? Even the really weird ridiculous. ones here. The clown. Yeah, that's the clown. The clown man. Kip doesn't know anybody from Cow Chop by name. He calls Trevor the clown man. He calls Alex tired eyes. Brett the man with two births. And James. He's able to get James right because he already knows a James. And his brain is able to make that easy connection. Can they hear us? Uh, no, they can't they hear us. they can hear us? No, they can't hear us. Oh, yeah. You know what? I actually like that shirt. That's Alyssa's shirt, isn't it? Yeah, I wear all of her clothes because we fit into the same thing. Let's switch. Yeah, that actually looks really good. Dude, and that looks good on you. There's so many stains on it. <laughs> this is new? Uh, no, Shit. this is Kip's shirt. Semen. Toothpaste. Dog do you think paste. You actually have semen ass on the shirt? paste. What is ass paste? I don't know. But what I do know is that Alex rummaged through my garbage the last time he was at my house. These are fucking brand new shoes. Eleven and a half? That literally fits me. You rummaged through my garbage. Yes, I got. I went through your garbage. I took your brand new shoes. Well, it's funny you mentioned that. I actually I have some more stuff to give you. Don't give away the golden pea shirt, idiot. We have many. Oh. medium. Uh, let's skip peas gold foil shirt coming out August 29th. Um, hold on. Steve, I didn't even get one yet. August 29th to get uh, a bunch of different shirts. You can get the Sugar Pine 7 shirt. I'm sure they'll have more of those. You can get the Let's Get P shirt, the Gold Foil Let's Get P shirt. Uh, they're going to have headbands. Nobody wants your stupid shirts. We're part of the same company. Oh, yeah. Brett realized he was at an age where he was making decisions that would last for the rest of his life. And since there was no time for him to change his path, I figured I'd do my best at cheering him up by doing an impression of him. <laughs> I was glad for a few moments I could make Brett smile. Unfortunately, seconds later, he fell back into that abyss. Let's go broilers! Let's go broilers! Let's go broilers! Let's go broilers! While Kib got Trevor addicted to nicotine, I tried my hand at a couple songs I've been working on. The first, called The Little Filipino Boy. I will never regret touching that little thing. Just... James loves the song about the little Filipino boy. He also loves my next song, Isis, a summer ballad. And when your family is killed, what choice do you have but to take revenge? It's a vicious cycle, Isis is a vicious cycle, it's terrorism all over the globe. And we're having a party, having a party. Always a hit with the teens. My next song takes a little bit of a darker path, though. It's a song about YouTube star Toby Turner. Allegedly. There's allegations, right? After Cow Chop left, we had a little bit of downtime, so I ordered us some lunch. I'm gonna order a bottle of baby carrots, a whole bag of them. Can you get fondling apples too, please? Can okay, I credit card? Some groping grapes. My credit card? Do you want the information? Yeah. 619-328-5597. That's a phone number. Expiration code 298. You just gave us a phone number. Try using it. Oh my god, what if... What Dude, planet do you live on that that work? works? Did it work? Yeah, it worked. Trust me, I can only communicate in phone numbers. You're talking in English right now. No, Use I just taught you how to read phone number lippage. For two whole weeks. You only read in Braille. What? What do, what do you even get out of Braille? Like, can you... Braille? Actually read Braille? 
Yeah, I rebrail. Yeah? Yeah, it gets me off. Okay, I'm gonna... Um... Do you ever feel a bump and... Oh, fuck. I felt see. a bump on my nuts. I could read it. I think it's just a razor bump. Could be a future. Do you ever hear about braille nut future reading? Do you wanna read my my nut braille? Yeah, of course, I can tell the future, ready? All right. Guess who's having a baby girl? I wasn't buying into Kid's braille reading, so I handed him off a braille written message to test his ability. Wow, you really shouldn't have, dude. I'll take three. <laughs>